Nice. There we go. Nice. Very good. All right. Yeah, that was fun, man. Neat plane. I really, yeah, look at it moving. Yeah. Look at it. Look whoa, at it. Oh, whoa, it's going to put the tip on you. Stop it. A action? Okay. <laughs> so here, this is Dave reporting from uh, Southern Eagle Squadron. And we got some weather here, but, uh, uh, well, that's the way it goes, man. <laughs> way it goes. We'll see you next time. We have our second hurricane coming through in two weeks. So we are actually out here to fly. We've got everything set up, batteries, airplanes, jets, helicopters, and we're getting rained out. Yeah. Three days later. That's nasty. Two weeks later. Before I get started, I need to let you know this video is sponsored by China Hobby Line, who sent me a stack of batteries for review. We're gonna start out with a 6L5000. These are rated at 70C, and we've got them set up in the Avanti Jet. Dave will pop that canopy off and we'll take a look inside. In addition to the 6L5000s, China Hobby Line also sent me some 4000s and some 3300s that we'll put in the 74 inch laser and the Bushmaster. Those are both maidens today too, by the way. So there you can see the 6L5000 inside the Avanti, fits just fine, and we're gonna button this up and go fly it. I did do some bench testing where I have data on how the batteries performed under a specific load down to a specific voltage. I'll put that information in post after the flight. Let's get this Avanti up in the air. Here we go, first flight with the Ava Avanti running the China Hobby Line batteries. Nice. Sounds good, let's try some maneuvers. Yes it does. Got good vertical. Yep, good power. Yeah. Feels, feels good. The real trick on these is gonna be sag. EDS will sag a battery because they run so much amperage. So that's what we'll look for. Yep. We'll see how long it can go without sagging. And I do have my voltage alert running on this plane with a sag alarm, a sag setting. So we'll see how it does. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do a sky high climb here. Let's see how it does just going straight up. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good enough for me. <laughs> good enough for my neck too. Yeah, plenty of power. Plenty of power delivery. That Two felt good. Minutes. Two minutes so far. Try a hammerhead, Dave. Go ahead. Let me try it with high rates. There it went. Gonna need the thrust vector in for that one. Yeah. Isn't the Avani great? What a great airplane. I like it. Try some Cuban 8s. Yeah, that Cuban 8 had just the right amount of mustard. You know, that's the secret of Cuban sandwiches, right? A mustard, yeah. Yeah, mustard. Three 
It's holding up pretty well. I have not been kind to this battery, and it hasn't sagged on me yet, so it's holding up well. Very nice. Yeah, very good. I'm going to do a voltage and time check here. 22.7 in about four minutes. Wow, there's the sag. I got it to sag. <laughs> okay. Four What's minutes in though. That's pretty good. Yeah, very nice. And right back up to 23.4, so we're still flying. Oh, got some enemy traffic down there on the end of the runway. Did I you catch saw them, that. Dave? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Birds are checking us out. So normally after I sag, then I kind of ease up on the high speed, high power stuff and just fly the plane a little bit. Just take it easy. I don't like to punish the batteries. 23 volts. So what I'll probably do is four minutes and 443 so far. Do some lazy figure eights near the ground. Nice. Twenty two point nine. Five minutes and thirty one seconds. Five forty one. There's some sag again. All right, that's it. With the second sag alert, I'm going to go ahead and get, get it ready to land. Slow things down a little bit. The wind is coming from my right. So I'm gonna do gear down. Flaps down. Nice. Very good. Oh, I landed on high rates, a little sloppy. Touched down nice and easy, though. Yeah. We're going to grab the temperature gun and take a reading on this real quick. So Dave's going to hop over there and grab the battery temperature right after the flight. Okay, go ahead. What do you got? Yeah, I got 114. Let me uh, get an average around 109 in the back. 112. Yeah, about 112 on average. 112? Yeah. All right. So there we go. Six minutes, 27 seconds. T power went up to 250 milliwatts that time. That's interesting. And you can see the battery voltage right there at 21.8 after landing. So six and a half minutes. And I was not being kind to that battery. I did a lot of high power stuff. I did some loops, some, some Immelmans. I did uh, Cuban 8s, hammerheads a bunch of high speed runs. I was not holding back and I got six and a half minutes. So I'm satisfied with the outcome on that battery. No problem at all. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it works pretty good. You did some really, really high stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. We did the sky high climb. Full throttle yeah. straight up and the battery didn't mind. It was happy. Good. And I didn't get sag. Probably I'll have to check the tape, but I think it's somewhere around four, four and a half minutes before we got our first sag alert. So. I'd say, yeah, battery performance on that, perfectly acceptable, perfectly reasonable. Next up, I'll put the discharge and charge data up on the screen so you can see how it performed on the bench, and then we'll fly the next airplane. Beep. 
Next up, we'll fly a 6L 5070C in my 67 inch laser. It's already installed. You can see it fits perfectly. One of the things I love about these 67 inch planes is they do great with 5000s. And if you want to do really crazy XA, you can go down to a 4000. So a really versatile airframe in terms of battery sizes. And so for the 67 inch, on a really windy day like we have today, I'm gonna to go ahead and go with the 6L 5000. Here we go with the China Hobby Line 6S 5070C in my one of my favorite all-time airplanes, a 67-inch laser. Nice. Yeah, it's really choppy up there today, but we'll still we'll still play around with it. We'll have some fun with it. Well, that's a better test for the batteries. Nice. <laughs> that plane would have got blown over to the lake. Yep. If you guys remember the last time I flew this plane, I don't know if you remember the prop, but the prop was sounding pretty nasty. So I did a little work on the front end. I balanced it, put a different spinner on there, and uh, now it sounds perfect. It sounds just the way I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a low pass so Dave can take a look at the plane, but it is really blustery today, so I'm not gonna get too low until I have to because the wind is acting up a little bit. We've had some hurricanes blow through Florida lately and it's just been, uh, flying weather's been a little tough lately. Yeah, that's definitely blowing pretty good. Oh, it's blowing hard. Yep. That was interesting. The wind really gets a hold of it when you do that kind of stuff. Nice. <laughs> Laser. What a great plane, man. I love this airplane. Man, if we only had a 74 inch one of these. Only, if only. If we only had a 74, oh well. 23.3 volts. 23.3. I have the timer set for six minutes. <laughs> you nice. see it traveling, Dave? Nice, yeah, oh yeah. That's funny. Dave, Dave was flying his s -Bock earlier and he did an elevator. I'm gonna see how the laser handles that in this wind. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. It didn't even want to come over. Nice, check it out.
I caught you on some zero ground speed there a minute ago. Did you? Yeah, when you were coming down. And I got the clouds behind you to prove it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that wind's crazy. Oh, you better believe, man. This is blowing. And yeah, hey, 67 inch airplane, no stabilizer. And the wind is, it's serious. It's serious wind right now. That's what I love about these planes. They just deal with it. Now, you're not gonna get really crisp, you know, flying in because the wind's gonna move the plane on you like that. <laughs> it's a loft. It's like turning it into a big sail. So you won't get real crisp maneuvers, but it's fun to play around in this stuff. The planes don't mind. Those batteries are doing their job. 30 yeah, 30 seconds left on my timer. Yeah. And I'll check the time, the voltage. 22.9 still, so. 20 seconds. And they're fighting the wind. Yeah. You know, we're fighting the wind. The batteries are working. Very good, very nice, I like them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Timer three elapsed. Nice, and reverse. <laughs> Break! <laughs> How's your battery? 22.8. Okay. I go to 22.4. Uh, 22 okay. Action! Let's see if we can get this to sag a little bit after six minutes. Nice. 22.5. Very nice. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't ask, you know, I can't ask for anything more. The battery does what it says it's going to do. It's delivering good power. I haven't had voltage sag yet, and I am well over six minutes of flying time. And it's been rough wind, and I've been beating on it a little bit. So I'm content. I'm gonna try and get it on the ground. It is blowing. 22.5 volts. I am gonna come in a little hot. Nice. Very good. There it is. Show them the wind, Dave. Let it. Let them see the wind. That wind sock over there. We got a 30 mile an hour wind today. Yeah, it's blowing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got a 30 mile an hour wind. It feels harder though, according to AccuWeather, 30 miles an hour. You got your temp gun, Dave? Sure do. All right, we're gonna take a temperature measurement and we'll get the voltage too. All right, what do you see, Dave? All right, it's hard for me to see the dot. I'm seeing 97. There, I'm seeing 93. Man, it's cool. 100? Yeah, that's it. 100, How's it feel? 100. Put your knuckle on it. How's it feel? Feel what? cool with your hand on there? Yeah, it's just, just lukewarm. Just normal. warm? I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Beautiful. Outstanding. Nice. Very good. All right, we got eight, eight minutes and 10 seconds of flight time. We're at 22.7 on the voltage and it's saying 2660 milliamp hours, but I haven't calibrated the current on this one. I do actually have a current meter, but I haven't checked the current. So I can't trust that just yet, but that's what it's showing me, 2660. But eight minutes and 10 with 22.7 on the pack voltage. Next up, we're gonna fly two 6L 4000s. These are also 70C packs, and I've got them wired in series on the 74 inch laser. And this is a maiden. Maiden flight of the 74 inch laser. There's the wind. <laughs> it's blowing pretty good, uh, but we're going to fly it. We're oh, going to yeah. fly it. We're going to do it. 
Let's go. Let's fly these bad boys. I guess, I guess you trust those batteries now <laughs> to fly your brand new airplane on the Maiden. I hope they, I hope they stand the test of time. Yeah, we'll find yeah. out. All right. Look at that beautiful 74. 74 inch laser. We're gonna, we're gonna take off with low rates and the wind is coming across the runway from the right. And this is a pair of China Hobby Line 6L 4070C batteries in series, 12S. Here we go. One thing that's for sure, it's really difficult to trim an airplane on a day like today. So I'm gonna do my best to do a little bit of trim work and make sure it's as flat as I can make it and then we'll fly it. All right, I've got it trimmed up. 48.2 volts. I can't really do my normal battery a test for a maiden on a day like today. Right check for balance and stuff like that because the wind is just too much. It'll have too much of an influence on the performance of the plane. So all we can really do is fly it around a little bit and have a little fun. And just on a day like today, what I'm looking for is I'm just paying attention to all the characteristics to make sure everything behaves the way I expect it to. And uh, one thing for sure about a windy day, you'll find out real fast if it doesn't. Uh, it's full of helium. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I filled the fuselage with helium. <laughs> I think you did a good job because, man, was that just hanging up there. It was. It didn't want to come down. I saw that. And I actually did book rates on this one, but I'm telling you, that's too sensitive for me. Too sensitive. Look at that. Even with the wind. Oh, Do yeah. Do you see that? That was beautiful, man. It's a laser. A laser. It's a laser with great batteries. 47 volts. 47 volts. Well, the other laser did great with the elevator, Dave. Let's see how this one does. Uh, let's try it. This one should do about a couple inches better. Beautiful. Look at that. It looks like me flying it. That's negative ground speed. Yep. <laughs> negative ground speed. Let's see if I can get it to come down now. I told you it did a couple inches better than the other one. You could land like that, man. You better believe it. Gorgeous. Man, those batteries hover fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of power to oh, punch yeah. out of there. Yeah. Man, it's blowing. It is really, it's yeah. really blowing. Well, let's try, let's try a loop. We'll see how that does. It's blowing right at me. Let's try doing this way. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Hey, FYI, Dave built this plane. So I'd say so far, Dave, nice job, man. Well, let's wait until it lands to say I built it. Went too late. Seconds. <laughs>
I assembled it. For those that like to say assemble, build, whatever. Forty-five point four volts still. There's a sag alert. All right, Dave, we're going to set up for landing. All righty. I'm on it. I'm keeping my high rates in case I have to bail. Yeah. Yeah, with this kind of wind, high rates is better. At least mid high. Going around. We're still good, 44.7, that's fine. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna use the grass, Dave. Okay. Nice, there you go. Whoop, 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 the wind, 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 it's blowing, it's blowing. As a matter of fact, I didn't think you were gonna maiden it today. But you did. Very good. Beautiful. We just landed the laser and it's looking like 3.8 volts per cell. So I had a little bit more time, but on a day like today, I don't like to mess around. Let's take a look at the uh, radio next, Dave. Okay. And I know the colors are dark. It's because we disconnected power, but 45.5 volts. But the main thing I wanted to draw your attention to is nine minutes and 30 of flight time. So nine minutes and 30 seconds with a pair of China Hobby Line 6L 4000s. And uh, we came down right at 3.8 volts. So beautiful. Beautiful. Perfectly yeah. reasonable yeah. Uh, expectation Absolutely. and result out of these batteries. Beautiful. Yep. This is the last flight of the day for the China Hobby Line batteries. This time I'm flying a brand new 84 inch Turbo Bushmaster from Extreme Flight. And powering this one, I've got in a China Hobby Line 3300 six cell 40c pack just a single pack in this one the wind is still blowing really hard today so we'll do our best this is a maiden flight and it's going to be powered by the china hobby line batteries ready dave yeah man let's have some fun all right <laughs> oh it's blowing yeah it's blowing it's blowing i am going to go ahead and put it at the end of the run because you don't want to taxi this thing like no. that I don't want to tax it. We'll put it right here and aim it right into the wind. This is good. This is good. Yep. It's got a little bit of a, I'm going to let it do its thing. All right. I do not need flaps for this. So we're just going to take off right into the wind and uh, I'll do one last control systems check. There's right aileron up, uh, elevators up, it rudders to the right. Everything looks good there. And again, this is a 6L3300 from China Hobby Line. Piece of cake. No stabilizer in this one either. 23.9 volts. 23.9 volts. 
that doesn't sound right. So I did actually calibrate this before I flew, but we'll check it on the ground. I'm just trimming a little bit. <laughs> we'll really be able to make this come to a halt. Maiden flight in the hurricane. Yeah, no kidding. Maiden plane, maiden batteries. It's a little challenging to get a read on the trim. I gotta be honest, I'm not lying. So we'll just fly it. We're just gonna fly it. So I have insane rates on here. And what that means is I coupled the flaps to the ailerons. So I'm gonna climb up a little bit, put it in high rates, and we'll give that a try and see what happens. Yeah, nice. That was athletic. Brutal wind. <laughs> Brutal. You got both flaps and ailerons working as ailerons right now, right? Correct. Yep, that's All right. right. So I call those insane rates, and then high rates are just the normal throws on ailerons only, and that decouples from the flap, so I can use the flaps if I want to. So we can do that. I'll put it in low rates, no, mid rates. I don't want low rates on a day like today. And then I also have crow set up. So Dave, I'll do a flyby with both flaps and crow, just so people can see it. Okay. Um, and I will put this configuration in my Discord, so if you'd like to see how I did this setup, you can join the Discord and check in the Fixed Wing channel, it'll be there. So I'm gonna bring flaps down. I have not done any elevator mixing, so yep. That bowed up quite a bit, but those are flaps down. And that needs a good bit of down elevator to keep it flat. So I'll need to mix that in later. And then I'll try and do some crow here, Dave. I don't know if you can see the flaps, but I'm here, com here yeah, comes the crow. Yeah. So those are flaps up and then here's crow. And there you got two ailerons up and the flaps are down. So hopefully you can see that on the video. Yes, you can. All right. On a non-windy day, you can make that airplane come down like with the brakes on straight down. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now we do the reverse test. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So there it is. There you can see it. Hopefully I can see it. So hopefully the camera's got it. Yeah, the camera's got it. All right. So there's Crow. And then I'll take the crow out and we'll go right back into straight and level. So yeah, that's fun. It's going to need a little bit of mixing work and, uh, you know, trim to, to get that to fly straight and level with those modes. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Maiden flight. That's pretty locked in. It says 21.9 volts, so I think I'm going to bring it down. And there's a sag alert. So yeah, let's bring it down. Okay. And we'll check it on the ground. For this amount of wind, the plane looks locked in. The batteries work flawless. That's nice. Very good. Good day. Yeah. I'm probably going to use the grass again because it really is bumpy out there. Okay. Oh, you're going to harrier this one in. You're going to helicopter it in. Don't helicopter it on top of me. Nice! <laughs> Four feet. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, that was fun, man. Neat plane. I really, yeah, look at it moving. Yeah. Look at it. Look whoa, at it. Whoa, oh, it's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Tip, Stop it. Tip on you. Stop it. Yeah. I look forward to flying this one under, under more manageable conditions. Yeah, some wind, but not hurricane, not 30 mile an hour winds like you got right now. Oh, it's trying to take off. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. It's trying to take off. All right, let's take it over to the bench and get some measurements. All righty. So this is what I call high rates. So look at the rates. Okay. The ailerons are high rates right there. Okay. Here's low rates. Okay. And now I'm going to go into insane rates and see how it locks the flaps and the ailerons yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So come out of you got to come out of insane rates to work the flaps. So now I'm in mid, I'm in normal high rates, and if I bring the switch down, my my right slider down, there you that go. is the full deflection. 
and then if I go up, that's what activates the crow. Crow. Aileron's so, up, flaps down. Yeah. So Very nice. I, I'm not a glider guy, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be flaps up and aileron's down or flaps down and aileron's up, but I figured flaps normally go down, so I'm going to use that. That's what I... But, you know, that may be wrong, but I think the effect is still the same. It's still going to work out the same, I think. No, I, I think that'd be good. That is the way to do it because that prevents you from tip stalling. If yeah. you got those ailerons up at the tips of the wings. So yeah. that is the correct way to do that. All right. Yep. So there you go. There's, And I think that's going to be a lot of fun to do some real short takeoff and landing stuff on the yep. runway when we're oh, not yeah. dealing with this crazy yeah. wind. Yeah, yeah. In terms of battery, it looks like four minutes and 25 seconds, and I'm showing 23 volts on the on the gauge right now. We'll check it at the table. There's the voltage reading after flying the Bushmaster, and it looks like 3.85 volts per cell on the 3300 pack, and that is after about 10 minutes of rest. You'll notice we did have to take the airplane apart because the wind is just too much. We don't want to damage, have any risk to the planes or damage the plane, so we took them apart. And then real quick on the radio, it looks like four minutes and 25 seconds of flight time. And I'd say probably at least another minute, at least another solid minute. So 3,300, no problem. And if you want to fly a 4,000 in this one, you can. Uh, there's the 6L 4,000. I put that in there and it, you have to actually pull it forward a little bit and it balances just fine. So no problem flying either a 33 or a 4000. Now you may see different flight characteristics on a 4000 of course, but you know, we'll see. We'll test that in, in an upcoming video and see how it performs. And, and remember, we have 30 mile an hour wind, so it, yeah. it, it will last a little longer. We were fighting the wind. It, yeah. it, it needs to uh, use some juice fighting yeah. the wind. Yeah. Yep. So I'd like to say thanks to China Hobby Line for sending these batteries out for review. I'll have a link in the description if you'd like to pick some up for yourself. And all I can say in my summary is that the batteries seem to perform well. The timeline expectation was right. I didn't see any premature voltage sag, which really kind of annoys me on weaker batteries. So these, these batteries felt strong throughout the main body of the flight and I didn't get that voltage sag alarm early, and I got it when I expected it. So that makes me happy in terms of the ability to deliver power. That's all I've got for today. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. Hasta la vista. Take it easy and go fly something. All right, Dave's gonna go ahead and take the canopy off and we'll take a look inside. Got a hammer and a chisel. <laughs> it won't come off, dude. Cut, cut, cut! It don't come off. <laughs> well, Freddie wasn't able to make it today, so Dave's got to do the proxy stand-in of the new plane smell routine. So, Dave, let's have it. Let's have it here. New smell routine. New there smell airplane, go. baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Or no, I've, new airplane smell. No, no smell. <laughs> See, that's why we need Fred here. <laughs> well, with this wind, it's going to smell here in a little bit. Don't worry about it. Brand new airplane on 40 mile an hour winds, it'll smell. Here we go. You better believe it. New smell airplane. <laughs> new smell airplane. What a dumbass.